This is Dave Berkthold, and he founded Blockhead Skateboards. 1985. And I sponsored this guy. <laughs> Alright, so this is the archival trunk. And uh, as you can see, it hasn't been tapped in a while because it's got rat turds all over it. Clean some of these rat. Clean some of this rat shit off so we can get into here. Alright, what do we got in here? This, this is a funny one. This is just one of those cheesy... I don't even remember where we were. Right? This might have been New Orleans. And we were on a skate... You know, we were on a tour. And so we got, you know, Steve Barra here on the left. Rick Howard. Andy Brayman. That's me. And then Omar. And we just were... I think we were in New Orleans and just, like, walking down the street and, you know, tourist district. And we saw some place to get a that would take your photo, you know, wearing this old, these old clothes and stuff. We're like, oh, whatever, let's do it. And so then it became just this, like, we would, um, we made a bunch of copies of this and put the Blockhead logo, and then when we, when we did the demos, this is what we would sign and give to the kids. So there might be some kids out here that have these with all these guys' signatures on it. Yeah, there's, there's just going to be endless stuff in here. You can tell already there's some tons of stuff in here. All right, this this is one of my uh, this is one of my favorite Cunningham photos from back in the day, and look at this is like this is I mean this isn't a skate park this is a backyard pool, and look at this corner area he's doing in this backyard pool, in like 1980 probably 1987, tuck me proper corner air. I guess I have to show this. This is like this is the first blockhead ad right here. This was. I think the very first blockhead ad. So, so this ad right here, um, I had like three thousand dollars. My parents gave me some college money, like two thousand dollars, and I think I borrowed a thousand dollars to start the company in uh, 1985. And then, so I decided I was going to spend two thousand dollars, like on my first batch of boards, which was the uh, first batch of the street style boards. And then I was going to take the other thousand dollars and uh, buy a Thrasher ad, and I, I don't remember, maybe it was 800 bucks, but whatever it is, it was, it was pretty much like a third of all the money that I had, and everyone was like, well, why don't you just do a quarter page, you know, save some money, and I was like, well, no one will take me seriously if I don't do a full page, so I have to do a full page, at least for the first one, and uh, I guess it worked. So it's original tragic comic art, and, uh, I mean, you would do it first with a, a blue pen, and it was like non-photo blue. And so when you draw on it with a blue pen, the blue wouldn't show up on a photocopy machine. It would just kind of disappear. And so you would lay it out first with blue pen, and then you would uh, black it in. And then use some white out if you screw it up. Ooh. Look at that right there. That's the original. Remember this one right here, Laban's contract ad? Yeah. Where he wrote out this, he wrote out his own contract. That uh, Six and, dollars per board signed, for five years? Well, he signed, he wrote it out and he signed my name to it. And uh, so this was his contract. It says, this contract entitles Laban to get six dollars per board for the next five years. He doesn't need to enter any contests or do any demos. He gets a blockhead ad every other issue plus uh, $10 per diem every day for the next 12 years. He gets a graphic change every 12 months or sooner if he wants. He gets 25 boards a month or more if he wants. He now owns the Blockhead ramp and Dave Berkthold has to keep it in good condition for him. Dave Berkthold has to buy all of his food and whatever else he wants. A guaranteed monthly paycheck of $5,000 regardless of board sales. He gets he gets the blockhead van and Dave pays insurance. He will be sent first class, of course, wherever he wants to go, uh, when, whenever he wants to go. And uh, yeah, that was his, that was his contract. I mean, he had kind of like the best deal in going right there. You know, here's here's a uh, this guy's ad. Yeah, my first ad. Well, that was your first ad. This, the other ad was with me and Jason Dill. Oh, okay. The skateboard superstars. We yeah. shared that little ad. Yeah. This is my first ad for any company. It's blockhead one. The front side three on the Encinitas double set. Yeah. Look at that board. It's like straight up. How did he do that? Nice. 
All right, so this this is like I don't I totally forgot about this. So this is the skunk graphic, obviously it's the same border, same lettering, same root beer. But here we have a duck, Howard the duck, instead of uh, the skunk. And so obviously like Rick didn't like this or something, and so it got changed to the skunk instead of the Howard the duck. So that's never been seen before. I don't know, at some point we should call it because this is like this this thing's just too deep. I don't know. Someone someone else could maybe someone else could maybe uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, but but I, I'm pretty sure that this is the first feeble grind photo on a handrail ever in a magazine. It's uh, JJ Rogers, and this was probably. Uh, I don't know, 89? Probably 1989.